hello friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to see about Postgres SQL database so in this tutorial we are going to see how we can run the database in docker we will see how we can create a simple docker instance how to use the nvn del variable set username password we'll also connect the database in the docker container through a gui machine Thank you for your support so far. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, like the video, share and comment. To start, I am using a SendOS machine, which, in which Docker is already installed. If you don't know how to install Docker, please check the tutorials in my channel or the link in my video description. So let's go to Docker Hub and uh, search for Postgres. So you'll be able to get the complete information on how to start a Docker container for Postgres SQL DB. So let's run a basic container. So to start a container, you run docker run hyphen D. It's in detached mode. Give a name for the container. So I'll give as Postgres DB. You can give anything you like. We have to give an environment tell variable. So if you don't give this uh, value, the Docker container will not be starting. Okay, so let's run the command. So since the image is not available locally, so the system is downloading the image from the Docker Hub. Okay, great. So the container is created. So if you run the command docker ps, you can see the container Postgres is running. So let's connect to the docker container using the command docker exec it the db postgres db name and bin bash so we are now inside the container let's uh, connect to the postgres shell so you need to use this command we are using the default Postgres username. So you can list the existing DBs. You can connect to the Postgres DB using the slash C command. We can also connect to the Postgres DB from Windows machine. So we need to download the application called PG Admin. So you can search for the operating system. Since it's for Windows, I will select for Windows. Download the EXE.
and install it so I have already completed the installation and uh, I have the PG admin open on the browser so now let's make the connection to the server so you need to give a name for the connection give the host IP address and the port number is 5432 let's exit from the connection in the docker container so you can see the IP address of the host machine you can use the same to connect to the PG admin We are getting an error unable to connect to the server. This is basically because when we created the Docker container, we have not exposed the port to the host machine. The other one of the reason maybe is that the firewall is blocking the connection to 5432. But in the current case, the issue is with the port is not exposed. So I'll remove the current running Docker container. And let's create a new one so I will run docker run hyphen D hyphen hyphen name postcourse DB is the name which I have given and we will be using the hyphen P to expose the port from the host as well so 5432 is the default port I'm using the same in the host machine as well and let's set a password for the user postgres so you can see we have created a user postgres db user and also we are setting a password for that user We can also create DB using the environmental variable. Let's do a persistent volume. So we are using hyphen V for the Postgres underscore DB, which will be mapped to var lib Postgres SQL Postgres SQL slash data. So we have the container running now. If you go to the location var slash lib slash docker slash volumes and the name of the volume which is postgres underscore db and underscore data. So you will be able to see the data as a persistent onto the host machine now let's connect once again to the newly created container using docker exec command
Now since we have the Docker container running with the exposed port, let's make the connection to the PG admin. So we have to give the host IP address and the port is 5432. And we have already created a new DB when we created the container. So we can give that and also we have a new username and password. So we can use that for authentication. Let's connect. You can see we, it's connected now. So we can do all the changes from here now. To summarize, we have seen how to run Postgres database in Docker container. We have created Postgres container running on port 5432 with separate user and password and also a volume attached as persistent storage. So we have also installed PG admin tool to connect to Postgres from Windows machine. If we have issues with connection, please expose the port 5432. I hope this tutorial is informative for you. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.